Hey everybody, I'm Scott with Starkey Family Fixing Rigging Up. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure you got your notifications turned on. That way you get notified when I put out my next videos. I bought another tool. Now, this right here is basically because I get irritated on my wife's van. We have a, a Honda Odyssey, which sets re rather low to the ground. It has been... Since we've got this thing a couple years ago, it's a great van. It's absolutely nice van. I couldn't say more about it. Other than when you go to change the oil on this, the van sits so low to the ground, I have a low profile jack and I can still barely get it up underneath there. And it takes forever to get the thing propped up, then get jack stands under there just because where it sits so low. So, <clears throat> One of my other buddies actually bought a pair of these. He's got a car that sits low to the ground also. And he was telling me on the phone that I've got to get a set of these. So I went over to Harbor Freight and they had a set of metal ramps. And then they had a set of plastic ramps. The ones that my buddy got were the plastic ones. And I was making jokes about them. But I go into the store and you see what the rating is on this three and a quarter tons so that's 6500 pounds and these are plastic the metal ones that they had were a lot less which really surprised me so i'm not really i wasn't really interested in those and i didn't really like the design that was on the metal ones that they had anyways it looked like that uh, those ones would cut into the concrete i could be wrong but i just didn't like them and if you did over overweigh them or anything they look like they were just gonna fold out and just bend straight down so i just didn't want any part of them anyhow these are the plastic ones with this rating not only would i be able to do the van but the pickup truck that i have here in front of me this is a 2500 hd silverado with the duramax engine in it i'll be able to pull my pickup truck on here and i'll be able to slide underneath it to do oil changes and such a lot easier also so let's go ahead and open this thing up and let's see what we got That's all it comes in the box. They actually look pretty sturdy to me. Got little handles here on the side. So let's see how much lift this will get. Now the inside where your tire would be, that right there is oh, roughly about a quarter inch down. So the height on this is actually six and a half inches tall for this lip so we bring that down so you're talking about six and a quarter inches higher off the ground that isn't bad i should be able to slide up underneath the van on that and it should make a big difference here on the uh, pickup truck too so what you say we go ahead and line out these ramps and see what it looks like so if you've never done this before this is actually pretty easy you take your ramp Wherever you've got your vehicle setting up, where you're wanting it to actually start going up, make sure you take your ramp and press it up against both sides on the tires. See how it's going? Just press it up against it. Make sure it's lined up with the tires. No big deal. These uh, ramps are 12 inches wide. So the chances of you actually not going on there after being aligned up are very very slim so you have the person inside the car go ahead and roll forward as you see it's just starting to put pressure on the very back and i've got my wife in there right now so everything's good 
and you're just gonna keep going and whoop, keep going and stop now you're not gonna really go too far because you got this lip back here that you're gonna end up hitting and that's how you know when to stop so now at the front of the vehicle with the tires up on these ramps we're getting about oh from the uh, air guard here about 16 inches high from the ground from this point right here that's plenty enough room to crawl underneath there change your oil do whatever you need so now we're gonna see about my pickup truck and see what it looks like with that okay so same thing applies this is my uh, Chevrolet Silverado it's a 2500 and you can pretty much hear the diesel in it so now I'm going to have my wife pull up on it. Same thing, you just line the ramps up with the tires. Okay, you got it on there. As you see, it, the ramp is holding with my pickup truck, as heavy as it is. No problems at all. So let me show you what the front view looks like. So with the tape measure on the front of the truck, on the lowest part on the bumper area, which is plastic, I've got 21 inches of clearance there. So I could easily go underneath of this, not using a jack, change the oil, transmission fluid, grease it, whatever I need to do. Now, of course, with these ramps, you can't take the tires off or anything like that. But everything else, you can. Hey, everybody. I'm Scott with Starkey Family, Fixing Rigging Up. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure you got your notifications turned on. That way you get notified when I put out the next video. I hope you liked looking at these ramps. I saw... I hope you saw how functional they were. It doesn't matter if you have a low car or even a pickup truck. These things are going to be very, very handy. Now, about the price. <laughs> With tax, they were about $61, $62. But this is something that you can keep for several, several years. Now, like I said before, they had a set that were metal. I just, I was not sold on those at all. They look like they would actually tear up the concrete, you know. They would hook good in, in the gravel, but they're more for a lightweight car. You would think that the metal ones would be a little bit heavier duty, but they're not. So anyways, go get you a set. Make your life a little bit easier. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.